isolated showers. What that trough is also doing as the ridge breaks down is going to allow Isaias to begin moving northward. So whenever that occurs, we're expecting the storm to take that more northward turn kind of around the periphery of the Bermuda High. Right now it's looking more and more likely that it'll be either the east coast of Florida or staying out in the Atlantic, which would be great news, not good news for the folks in the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, but maybe it would be a weaker storm. However, as it stays out over the open water longer, we may see this a bit stronger as it gets east of Florida. The storm right now, again, it is now tropical storm ECS, but I started with a wider satellite loop to show you it is a very large storm and kind of an elongated area of rotation down near the center we have started to finally see that closed circulation, which is why the Hurricane Center went and declared it a tropical storm. But that doesn't mean it's much in the way of uh, better organized than it was earlier in the day. You still have a fairly large complex of storms north of Puerto Rico. However, thunderstorm activity near the center has certainly gotten going, but you also have a cluster of storms north of it. And it looks like this cluster might actually start to help to jog the center of the storm northward and then kind of uh, splitting the difference, moving it out toward the Dominican Republic and then eventually north toward the Turks and Caicos and eventually clearing Cuba and making its way toward Florida. So though you now see that it is a stronger storm, it's because it may stay out over water longer and again does take more of the Gulf of Mexico out of that margin of uncertainty. Very mountainous terrain across Hispaniola where the mountain peaks range anywhere from 9,000 to 10,000 feet. It'll be interesting to see what happens with the storm surface circulation once it moves over that very mountainous island. Dominican Republic, Haiti, very, very mountainous, and that usually tends to help weaken these storms. Both the Euro and the GFS, as I pointed out earlier, are now in agreement of keeping this storm either the east coast of Florida or completely away from the Florida coast, which would be great news for them, not as good news for the folks in the Bahamas. Us, though, not worrying about it. We're going to stay dry for the next couple of days.